What is term life insurance? Term life insurance is a type of life insurance that provides coverage for a specific period of time or term. If the policyholder dies during the term, the death benefit is paid to the beneficiaries. If the policyholder does not die during the term, the policy typically expires without any value. Term life insurance is generally less expensive than permanent life insurance, such as whole life or universal life, because it provides coverage for a limited period of time and does not build cash value. How long is a term? The term of a term life insurance policy can vary, but common options include 10, 20, or 30 years. Some insurance companies may also offer 15 or 25 year terms. The term you choose will depend on your individual needs and how long you expect to need coverage. For example, if you have a young family and want coverage to provide for them in the event of your death, a longer term such as 20 or 30 years may be a good choice. If you are older and nearing retirement, a shorter term such as 10 years may be sufficient. Does the government offer it? The government does not typically offer term life insurance directly to individuals. However, there are government-sponsored programs that provide life insurance benefits to certain groups of people. For example, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs VA, provides term life insurance coverage to eligible veterans through the Service Members Group Life Insurance SGLI, program. This program provides coverage for veterans who are actively serving in the military. There are also government-backed programs such as Federal Employees Group Life Insurance FEGLI, which is available to federal employees and annuitants, as well as members of Congress and certain other individuals. Additionally, some state and local governments may also offer term life insurance as part of their employee benefits package. In general, most people obtain term life insurance through private insurance companies rather than through government-sponsored programs. How do I get term life insurance? There are several ways to get term life insurance. Contact an insurance agent or broker. An agent or broker can help you compare different policies from different insurance companies and provide advice on which policy might be best for your needs. Compare policies online. Many insurance companies now offer term life insurance policies online, and there are also many websites that allow you to compare policies from multiple companies. Contact insurance companies directly. Many insurance companies offer term life insurance policies and can provide quotes and information over the phone or online. Check with your employer. Some employers offer term life insurance as part of their employee benefits package. Get a medical examination. In most cases, you will need to undergo a medical examination as part of the application process. The examination will include a physical examination, as well as blood and urine tests. You will also need to provide information about your lifestyle and habits, such as whether you smoke or have any pre-existing health conditions. It's important to shop around and compare policies from different companies before making a decision. You should also make sure to read the policy carefully and understand the terms and conditions before purchasing. How much does term life insurance cost? The cost of term life insurance varies based on a number of factors, such as the individual's age, health, and the coverage amount. Typically, term life insurance is less expensive than permanent life insurance, such as whole life insurance. A 20-year, $500,000 term life insurance policy for a healthy 30-year-old non-smoker can cost as little as $15 per month. However, the cost can increase significantly for older individuals or those with pre-existing health conditions. It is best to get a quote from a reputable insurance company to get an accurate cost for your specific situation. What are the pros of term life insurance? Some advantages of term life insurance include Affordability Term life insurance is generally less expensive than permanent life insurance options, such as whole life or universal life insurance. Flexibility. Many term life insurance policies allow policyholders to adjust the coverage amount or length of the term as their needs change. Simplicity. Term life insurance policies are generally straightforward and easy to understand. Coverage. Term life insurance provides coverage for a specific period of time, usually between 10 and 30 years, and pays out a death benefit if the policyholder passes away during the term of the policy. Lower premiums for young and healthy individuals. Term life insurance can be a good option for young and healthy people because they tend to pay lower premiums than older people or those with health conditions. Potential for conversion. Some term life insurance policies offer the option to convert to a permanent life insurance policy, such as whole life insurance, later. Protection of loved ones. Term life insurance can provide financial protection for loved ones in case something happens to the policyholder. What are some cons? Some disadvantages of term life insurance include Limited coverage. Term life insurance policies only provide coverage for a specific period of time, 
usually between 10 and 30 years, and do not accumulate cash value. Renewal rates. Term life insurance policies typically have higher rates when you renew at the end of the term, especially if you're older or have health issues. No cash value. Term life insurance policies do not accumulate cash value like permanent life insurance policies, such as whole life or universal life insurance. Not guaranteed. Term life insurance policies are not guaranteed, meaning the policyholder's coverage and premium rate can change over time. No beneficiaries pay out if policyholder outlives the policy. Term life insurance pays out only if the policyholder dies during the term of the policy, if the policyholder outlives the policy, there is no payout to beneficiaries. Not a long-term savings vehicle. Term life insurance is not a long-term savings vehicle, it is designed primarily as a way to provide financial protection for loved ones in case something happens to the policyholder. Overall, term life insurance can be a great option for some people, but it's important to understand the pros and cons before making a decision. It is always advisable to consult with a financial advisor or insurance agent to determine if term life insurance is the best option for your specific needs. How do my beneficiaries get the money if I die? Suppose you die while your term life insurance policy is in effect. In that case, the death benefit will be paid to your beneficiaries, who are the individuals or entities that you have designated to receive the death benefit in the event of your death. The death benefit is a lump sum of money that is paid out to your beneficiaries tax-free. When the insurance company is notified of your death, they will typically ask your beneficiaries to provide proof of death, such as a death certificate, and will also ask for some additional documentation, such as a copy of the policy and a claim form. Once the insurance company has received all of the necessary documentation and has verified that the death claim is valid, they will typically process the death benefit payment within a few weeks. The payment can be made either to your beneficiaries in a lump sum or in installment payments. It's important to note that beneficiaries should keep the policy information in a safe and easily accessible place, so they can provide the necessary information to the insurance company in a timely manner if something happens to the policyholder. What if my beneficiaries are minor children? If your beneficiaries are minor children, the process of receiving the death benefit may be slightly different. In most states, if a minor is the beneficiary of a life insurance policy, the death benefit will be paid to a court-appointed guardian or custodian, who will hold and manage the funds on behalf of the minor until they reach the age of majority, usually 18 or 21, depending on the state. Alternatively, the insurance company may set up a trust for the minor children, with the death benefit being paid into the trust. The trustee, which is usually a parent or close relative, will manage the funds on behalf of the minor children until they reach the age of majority. It's important to note that when designating minor children as beneficiaries, it is a good idea to also name a secondary beneficiary, such as a trusted friend or family member, who will serve as a backup in case the primary beneficiary is unable to fulfill the role. It's also important to consult with a financial advisor or a state attorney to ensure that the death benefit is distributed in the most appropriate way that takes into account the needs of the minor children and that it is in compliance with the state laws.